Hello, my name is Blake Patterson, and welcome to Real Values. On this week's episode, I discuss a taste of honey. As I mentioned in my review for Saturday night and Sunday morning, it must have been an exciting change for critics tired of traditional storytelling when the Nouvelle Vague in Britain and France arrived, exploring the experiences of a female adolescent Tony Richardson adapts Sheila Delaney's play to the screen without reducing the characters into stereotypes or aiming for sentimentality. A Taste of Honey focuses on Joe, Rita Tushingham, and her attempts to connect to someone in an apathetic environment with an alcoholic mother, Dora Bryan's Helen. When Joe falls for a black sailor, Paul Denquas, Jimmy, in town, and Helen remarries, Joe struggles to help herself when she discovers her pregnancy, which provokes Jimmy to leave due to the notion of being a responsible father. Joe eventually receives support from a new friend who is gay, Murray Melvin's Jeffrey, by capturing the daily realism of Joe's life, Richardson also evokes compassion for these two young people and how they feel outside of their British community. There is dignity in portraying these characters because the performers, particularly Tushingham and Melvin, understand the emotional complexity of their roles. In adapting a play to a film, Richardson leaves some theatrical conventions in design and execution, but brings the story to the unexpected rhythms of reality through various locations in Joe's territory. There is also playful invention through Walter Lasseley's black and white cinematography by presenting Joe's playful nature like a close-up shot of Joe blowing bubbles. Ultimately, A Taste of Honey examines the lives of young people in a refreshingly radical way for its time, 1961. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great night.